Welcome, Leo, to your September chakra reading. Hope you guys are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers. Anyone new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, getting right in here, we have the balance card is the chakra card that's out. This is the third eye chakra, and it's talking about balancing yourself. Um, this says, I take with me wherever I go. Is there a part of my life that may be out of alignment with who I am? So talking about chasing illusions, health matters, um, compulsive behavior, dietary imbalance, being result oriented, self neglect or honoring values. So it seems to me that you're out of balance um, and you need to get yourself back into balance. And it looks like it's sitting over here next to another third eye chakra. And this is really talking about being imbalanced due to um, <laughs> manifesting in law and attraction. So those of you who are trying to law and attract, it looks like over here in your energy, you are waiting for the good news and for your answers, your prayers to be answered, but you are imbalanced. Um, so it seems like the potentials and opportunities are not coming your way because of imbalance. Okay, so, but the angels say you are ready. You are ready to find this balance within yourself and be the gray squirrel and find new ways of solving problems. Um, solving this problem is going to be the balance for this manifestation, law and attraction prayer. Um, okay, and then 57 is your teaching and learning numerology. Five plus seven is 12, so that's gonna be three. And that's pretty much talking about the teaching and learning of yourself is the learning and growth when the wisdom you will gain will be a great benefit to others as well as to yourself. Okay, so pretty much you have life lessons that you need to value to get yourself balanced. Um, weighing the pros and cons, it seems like when you're law and attracting, it looks like you're waiting for the good news, but there's things that are holding you back within your energy and you need to teach yourself um, how to um, get rid of those things. Find creative new ideas of solving problems because um, this is, becomes a three, which is the creativity within yourself. And um, this also says, you know, bring that creativity to yourself, find and rediscover the magic within yourself not allowing yourself to be imbalanced because um, you're really doing a balancing act over here. Uh, you probably have to let go of some negative energy to figure out who you are and realign those thoughts. It feels like more thoughts, um, self-neglect. Um, also, compulsive behavior can also uh, mess up your uh, law and attraction, overspending, excessive spending, excessive thinking, <laughs> anything compulsive. Okay, so you want to get rid of those things and find new ways to solve these problems within yourself so that you can have these things come up. Okay, so let's get your card over here for you, Leo. Yeah, you have the sacral chakra coming out, which is the I want. Yes, you want to have your opportunities. You want the good news. Of course, you want all these things to happen, but you also have to want to balance out your thoughts and get rid of any negative energies that might be holding you back because that's exactly what it looks like. There is something there that is a problem um, that is holding this back. So you have to dig deep within yourself and know exactly what that problem is. The problem is going to be a little bit different for everybody. Um, so let's clarify on this balance, this long attraction card with teaching and learning in the gray squirrel. Yeah, the, the imprints, it looks like you want the prosperities. You've been working hard at these prosperities. Could be for your family. This is a four, so it could be for the foundations of your family. Um, your children, let alone yourself, right? I 
QDB be a loan attracting a house for some of you, um, trying to get the good news that they will take your offer. Okay, I'm waiting for that offer to go through, or trying to sell your house, buying or selling. Otherwise, it's just the prosperities of knowing this is what I want. I want to be this imprint. I want my prosperities, and you know, but there's something holding me back. Um, taking control over the issue and taking control also of the energy that's surrounding this. Okay. Yes, wanting that good news to come in. Really wanting that prayer to be answered. And I see that. And the answer will come once you get yourself balanced and take control over it the teaching and learning. So once you start learning what it is that's holding you back, then you will get that good news. Okay. Seven of steps. It's just like you're just like holding down the fort. You're... <laughs> you might be a little guarded and maybe you need to let your guard down a little bit. Um, maybe that's another thing that's holding you back is being over guarded, over protected, over protection, right? Archangel Michael card coming out with communication. For some of you, you might even be um, trying to manifest Mr. or Mrs. right into your life and hoping that this person comes to you. Um, not manifesting just a person. Um, be careful when manifesting a person you're trying to a specific person because they have their own goals, their own achievements, their own manifestations. Um, so doing so, unless you guys are manifesting each other, um, then that would be different because the energies would intertwine. But if you are doing it to single out a certain person, it probably will not happen. Okay. Because um, they, like I said, they have their own laws and attractions. The magician, there is that law and attraction and taking action. But you need to keep manifesting, but it looks like you need to have more communication and more balance within yourself while manifesting. You need to find that problem. Uh, it looks to me like you might be doing the wishy-washy thing. Um, this will bring in a new world once you start getting the communication um, clear. Um, with the Archangel Michael card here, it's clear communication of what you want while manifesting for the new world and the new beginning that you're looking for, okay? So you really need to have a more clear communication, okay? That way you'll get your Ace of Cups, okay? And then you will start having those potentials come in with the Seven of Cups over here, okay? You're ready to do this, so start planting the seeds of better communication. Try to keep yourself out of Anything that's undesirable, keep yourself still and listen. With the Four of Swords, you're going to stay still and listen and meditate on the things that you really want in life without any negative um, backslide, right, of imbalance. Because it almost feels like over here when you're balancing something, you're saying, I really, really want this. And then when it doesn't, you don't hear the good news and you start saying, oh, I guess that's not going to happen. Um, and then that backlashes that energy okay and then it makes it stop okay then it has to buffer in time again okay so six of staffs the six of staffs is just another you know another type of standing your ground and it's you know or victory though right standing your ground for those achievements, wanting this good news to come in. You know, you need to tell yourself that you can achieve this, you will achieve this, use that intuition, listen to your own intuition. Okay, even when other people, it even, it even pretty much tells you, even when other people say, you know, that they have great advice to help you do this and that and this and that, don't listen to them, you go with your own intuition. That's why God gave you in your own intuition. Okay, because even we can say this, you know, I mean, um, what's good for one is not good for the other. Okay, so what they might think is not a good idea is great for you. 
okay? So even when their advice is really strong, just listen to your own intuition. Be still and listen. Yep, this way you will be able to look outward with the two of staffs looking beyond the horizon and coming to greater details of what's better for you, um, being able to look out there, right? And say, hey, look, now I have these choices. I'm teaching. This is teaching, teaching. Right? It's almost like your own intuition is teaching you, teaching you harmony with the three, teaching you creativity, teaching you, um, you know, new things on the horizon, right? Enthusiasm, enthusiasm, becoming more enthusiastic about things. Um, but however it is, it's still the advancement, which that's what the six of staffs is, the advancement. Right, of victory. So yeah, you don't want to always listen to what other people have to say because they're, they might be misdirecting you. Okay. Um, what's good for you. So you keep with your own balance, your own solving your own problems. Okay. And it looks like it is love. It looks like a lot of you are looking for that Mr. or Mrs. Right to come into your life, trying to get your prosperities. Um, through love. Um, the lover's card is not always just love, though, too, of another. It's also getting back into the things that you love, loving yourself, um, taking control pretty much of your own dreams and desires and the things that you love. And this will bring the Knight of Cups. This offering will come to you, um, whether it's a love offering or just whatever you're manifesting. But you have to keep the promises and hopes and keep yourself balanced to yourself. Okay. And the Knight of Staffs coming in. Okay. And that's just looking out on the horizon and seeing the things that are coming towards you. Now you have that, that judgment call coming in to you. That good news is coming. And it's coming, you know, far and beyond on this boat over here with the Knight of Staffs. Okay. Really telling you, hey, look what you can do now, right? Look at where you can go. Look at what you've manifested. Look at how determined you were and the passion that you've used and offering yourself that determination and that, that passion. Okay. You've put in a lot of hard work for this. And you've solved the problem of the imbalance. Okay. But yes, I, I really do think that it's almost like you're telling one person this is what you're what you're planning on doing, and um, they're telling you, I don't I don't know if that's that's not gonna work. Right? That's not gonna work. And then it th throws you off balance. So it's almost like you're mistrusting your own intuition, maybe to hear somebody else's um, ideas. card says the law of attraction is my life's basis okay it's the basis of understanding it is the essential of living life on purpose in fact the understanding of the law of attraction is essential to living the life of joy that you came forth to live uh, we all law and attract one way or another the universe is all energy Okay, so you don't want to attract negative energy, you want to attract a positive energy, and you want to continue with um, putting out that positive energy, speaking it, thinking it, you know, speaking it is better, actually, than thinking the energy is stronger when you say it out loud, right, because it really vibrates to the universe. Thinking is good, but it doesn't have the strength that saying it does, the words are power. Um, so, you know, you go inside and you, you solve your problems, you know, logically, and then you speak it and make it known. Okay. So that way, you know, and you continue to keep going on that path so that you get what you, you know, what you put out into the universe. Okay. So getting some, some cards over here, some life purpose cards, these will help you for meditating. 
things you can do to help you meditate, to relax, to get rid of negative energy, to keep yourself calm. Um, jacuzzis, spas, swimming, um, bubble baths, things like that always help. A good sh hot shower, just standing in there and just kind of just, ah, oh, right? So for you, Leo, it's family. Um, loving your friends and family is center life of your purpose. You are very loyal to your family. You are very good family people. So being around your family will actually help you relieve stress. Okay. Creative expression. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. So when you're drawing or playing music or whatever it is that you do creatively, which we see over here, right? Creativity three. Um, it's going to help you solve those problems and help you release tension as well and help you get into that meditative mode actually being creative this one here is really good um, writing drawing music that really opens up the soul and the intuition um, that is a major you know one major key to uh, I believe for a lot of people because it really opens up the expressive sides of the soul and you're using a different side of your brain as well you're now using the right side of your brain instead of the left side of your brain is that right? I think that's right. I think I said that right. So anyways, I might be wrong on that. If I'm wrong, just tell me I'm wrong. Because I think I'm right. <laughs> I think I said that right. <clears throat> I used to say it right. Okay. So whatever. You're using the creative side of your mind and really digging deep within your soul to get the creative things out. Okay, no matter what. So that is definitely, um, when people are creative, they definitely have a different way of thinking about things. That's why all these great books are written and great pieces of art are, you know, are drawn and music and all those things because it's coming from within yourself, not just from your logical mind, right? So that is a great way to all of a sudden be drawing and then say, oh my gosh, I solved the problem like a light bulb went off, right? So, <clears throat> digging deep within the soul. Okay. And flowers. Working with flowers. Nature in itself has a great way, too, of putting us into a different worldly um, attitude and expression and making us see and open up to different things. It opens up the energy around us by taking on nature's energy to release our bad energy okay so great ways of doing something and then of course yoga exercise stuff like that's always wonderful okay and then crystals as well because I know some of you probably play with crystals so even though these didn't come out those are also great ways to release negative energy and get into a different mindset okay using your chakras and opening your chakras these things will open up your chakras and you just get this energy flow right because they make you happy. When the chakras get, you know, working up, your aura gets high and beautiful and vibrant and all of a sudden you're shining. Okay, so that was it for you, Leo. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.